What is going on everybody? Noble here with you guys today. In today's video we're going to be doing a guide for a game called A Fisherman's Tale. Now this is a PSVR game, or it's a VR game. I'm playing it on PSVR. I'm not sure where else it's available, but we're going to be walking you guys through where you can find all the hidden pearls in the game. With that said, let's go ahead and start off with the prologue. So the very first pearl you can find very simply, as soon as you start the game where you have to brush your teeth, the first pearl is on the right side of the sink. Just look around, go ahead and grab it. And every day began the same way when you brushed these wooden teeth. was a handsome one. The second pearl can be found once you're sent to go and dust your shell. If you look inside the chest that's on the floor, you can go ahead and find that pearl very easily. Take the old duster and dust his lucky seashell. And the third pearl in the prologue is actually on the miniature lighthouse on the porch above the roof. Now I'm not sure why I didn't capture this one. I might have accidentally picked it while I was in that in a dark area. But uh, it's very simple to find. I'll go ahead and pause the video here for you guys, put a little circle on it so that you guys can see where it's at. Also, I should go ahead and mention that there are three pearls in each one of the chapters, just in case you guys don't know whether or not you got them all. There's three pearls in each one of these. So with that said, that's the first three. Let's move on to chapter one. Now the first pearl can be found right under the sink as soon as you start the chapter, just open up the cabinet and reach down for it. But no two silly planks of wood were going to get between him and his routine. Now the second pearl you can actually find by trying to wave your hands around the planks above the shelf where the hermit crab is. Now I also should mention that um, I'm not sure that I've got my PSVR camera set up the right way. Uh, it was really hard for me to reach higher in this game, and I think it's because I don't have my camera set up the right way. So if you've got yours set up, it might be a little bit easier, but if you need something else, go grab the fire stick and uh, extend your arms. You can be able to reach things like that a lot easier. And the third pearl in chapter one can be found on the left window panel after you open the window and look outside. Simply stick your head out, look to your left, and you guys should be able to find it pretty easily. All right, so that's three pearls for chapter one. Moving on to chapter two. So the first pearl can be found inside the cabinet where you found the hat left for the hermit crab. And the second pearl can be found at the entrance that you ripped off of the lighthouse. Now. I had some issues trying to grab this one, but if you guys want a pro tip real quick, grab one of the tuna fish, make it larger, use that to go ahead and reach this pearl. Um, whenever you get back to the part that you ripped off, look up, up and off to your right. You guys should see it. It's a lot easier to grab if you have a large tuna fish. Thank you. 
And the third pearl in chapter two can be found whenever you climb the ladder through the mirror. Um, before you climb the ladder, head off past that beyond the matchbox and just keep moving till you see it. It shouldn't be all that hard to find and uh, you really shouldn't miss this one. All you have to do is move past the area that seems to be blocked off and keep going in that direction. All right, so we're moving on to chapter three now. The first pearl can be found above the bed in the cabinet with the sliding doors. Should be very easy for you guys to go ahead and get this one. Uh, the second pearl is at the very top of the stairs where the next door is. You won't be able to go inside this door, but just work your way all the way up the stairs and you'll be able to find this pearl very easily. The door upstairs was rusted shut. Besides, Papa had given him an order, and a true sailor always obeys the skip. The third pearl can be found above the crane controls off to your right. Again, I had some issues trying to reach this one. Again, I don't think my camera is set up the right way, but if you guys need something, just grab something to make your reach extend a little bit further. It's off to the right side and you guys should be able to grab this one. All right, so that's three pearls for chapter three, moving on to chapter four. And I actually think this is the last one that you have to go ahead and get. So the first pearl can be found right after you spawn in inside the chapter. You just look off to the right and above and you should be able to find it. Inside the lighthouse, little versions of the puppet were reflected back at it, getting even smaller. And there was only The second pearl is on the outside where you spawn. Just turn around, look outside the broken glass, and it should be right there. You guys should be able to find this one fairly easily. The third pearl, I actually had some trouble with it. Go ahead and move over to the opposite side of where you spawn in and look under the table. You guys can get it there. And that should conclude each and every pearl that you need in this game. Now, I know this was a little bit shorter, a little bit quicker than I usually do, but um, I hope you guys found it helpful. I really enjoyed this game. Uh, if you guys have not played A Fisherman's Tale in VR, it's actually pretty cool. It's got a really neat little story. I like the puzzles in it, and the game can be completed in about two hours on your first go. So let me know what you guys think, and as always, if you guys like this video or anything else that I do, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and we will see you guys next time.